Hi everyone, so today I have these three Bluetooth earphones from Oppo in our studio and uh, these are three different designs of wireless headphones and Oppo is covering all the bases and catering to its customer base with different design preferences. Okay, so the first one that I have with me is the Oppo Enco W11. This one is the cheapest of the bunch. Let's unbox it first. Oh, okay, first of all we have the charging case which looks like the Galaxy Buds case. Um, you also have an LED indicator up front and inside you have the earbuds themselves. Okay, so more we have paperwork and some ear tips. And next we have the USB Type-C charger. So the W11 Buds, as you can see, has a non-steamy design and it looks like the Galaxy Buds Plus. Uh, it has a glossy finish and it looks clean in the ears. One thing that I didn't like is the Buds don't quite have a firm insertion, even while shifting through different sizes of ear tips. As a result, it feels a little insecure and I noticed some discomfort when using it for a prolonged duration, even though they are fairly lightweight at just 4.4 grams each. For controls, it has a capacitive touch control on each earbud with different functions. Here you can tap on either side to play or pause. You can press and hold to increase or decrease the volume. Similarly, you can skip or go back with double tap and if you triple tap, you can summon the digital assistant. It does work on the gentlest of touch but uh, the touch latency is quite noticeable and even at times it's really annoying. Okay, so now let's talk internals and it does have an impressive spec sheet for the price. With the W11, you get 8mm drivers, Bluetooth 5.0, Oppo's industry-leading binaural transmission and an IP55 dust and water rating, which means that you can take it on jogs and is protected even against slight drizzles of rain. But as expected, it only supports SBC and AAC audio codecs, but I think that's fine for the price. In low-mid volume, the sound quality is okay for the price, but I won't suggest you listen in full volume though. In instrument-heavy music, the vocals get subdued. Similarly, hard rock, classical metal genres of music feel a little too shaky to my liking. Also, it cannot properly process music with different ranges of audio frequency simultaneously. Oppo says that it has enhanced bass here but I could not see it as I felt that the bass level is quite unpleasant and even with the tightest fit, you will notice that the bass feels forced and muddy. For listening podcasts, YouTube videos, movies or any other genres of music at a moderate volume, this earphone does fine. Oppo also says that they have included noise reduction feature for calls but uh, the call quality here is actually not that great. Battery life in here is acceptably fine. I got around 3.5 to 4 hours when listening in 70 to 80% volume. And with the case, you will get around 20 hours. The Type-C connector takes up to 2 hours to fully charge the earbuds too. So if you are on a tight budget and if you're looking for a decent pair of wireless TWS, then the Oppo Enco W11 is a pretty good deal. Alright, next up we have the Oppo Enco W31 which is slightly expensive than the W11. Let's unbox this. The box is very similar to the W11. I keep this aside. We have the charging case here which looks strikingly similar to the Huawei FreeBuds 3. I'm gonna keep this aside. Again, we have the paperwork here and the Type-C charging cable and on this side we have the ear tips. That's pretty much all in the box. Okay, design-wise the W31 really seems inspired by the Apple's earpods. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of this design but I can see how many people like it. Um, here you also have this button for first time pairing. Compared to the W11, it has a really secure fit and you will have a hard time shaking them off of your head even with the most aggressive of head bangs. Wearing it for a long time is not problematic either which is all thanks to its lightweight build. However, the controls here I felt was not as intuitive as the W11's. Here you will need to double tap on the right side to skip a track. Uh, similarly, you need to double tap on the left side to switch between balance or bass mode and you need to triple tap on either side to trigger assistance. 
but you cannot control volumes from here and the touch control has a noticeable latency and at many times it fails to register your touch when you are tapping on it with a little bit of haste. But unlike the W11, it has wear detection which automatically pauses your music when taking off either of the earbuds and resumes when putting it back on. About the dedicated bass mode here, yes, it definitely cranks up the bass and the music sounds great. Uh, although I have noticed some bass bleed at certain times when listening to the music in higher volumes. While it is definitely better than the W11, it does not compare with other wireless earbuds that we have tested on our channel like the Oppo Go Free, which costs a little bit more than the W31. Spec-wise, it has a smaller 7mm driver, it supports Bluetooth 5.0 and binaural transmission like the W11 and is IP54 rated. And compared to the IP55 on the W11, its IP54 promises a slightly inferior dust resistance, otherwise they're almost the same thing. But even with the smaller audio drivers and support for SBC and AAC audio codec, listening to music on it on balanced mode was a comparatively more pleasant experience. The audio quality in here is decent too as it has two microphones for picking up the audio better. Unfortunately, the battery life here is not that great as on average I only got about 2.5 hours of playback with around 70% of volume. Overall, like the W11, the W31 is also a decent pair of wireless earbuds if you're looking for quality audio on a budget. Okay, finally we have a neckband headphone. So let's quickly unbox this. Okay, first of all we have the neckband itself. Um, then we have some paperwork and a mini paper box which has a type C charger and and the ear tips now because of its form factor it can cram in a bigger battery and better audio technologies for a smaller cost uh, you get this in two colors basically uh, a green one and a black one and this green one that i have with me looks really dope also, while some people might not like having to deal with wires at all, but for me, neck bands are totally worth it. The earbuds themselves fit really well. It feels snugly and there is zero discomfort even with hours of continuous playback. The buds also magnetically attach to each other and that's how it turns off too. On the left side, you see the control center where you find the volume control buttons. There is a multifunctional button as well. Uh, you get the LED indicator and a microphone as well in here. And uh, moving to the other side, you see the charging port. Double clicking the multifunction button switches between balanced and bass mode and triple clicking will trigger the voice assistant. Similarly, long pressing the volume up skips the tracks, whereas long pressing the volume down button goes to the previous track. But the long press function takes nearly a second to work, which is a little annoying. And also the buttons are not distanced properly, so oftentimes I would confuse one with the other. And one more complaint about the design is that there should have been a comparatively tougher material near the tip of the earbuds, but you will have to pull it out using the wires instead, so this feels a little insecure. Spec-wise, it has a single 9.2mm full-range dynamic titanium drivers that can reproduce 40kHz audio frequencies under Sony's LDAC codec or 20kHz under AAC or SBC codec. With this, it is also wireless high-res audio certified. So yeah, the superior LDAC 990kbps codec really shows much much better audio output and the Enco M31 delivers rich hearing experience in almost every genre of music. Under the bass mode, the audio feels pleasantly punchy and I do not notice any sort of bass bleeding at all. On the balance mode instead, it gracefully dials down the bass and achieves a higher degree of audio clarity instead. Even in bass heavy music, the vocals don't get subdued and you get good mids and highs as well. Besides bass, uh, listening to practically every other genre of music was a bliss on this headphone, especially when coming back to the W11 or the W31. It is loud enough as well. Oppo says that it has AI uplink uh, noise cancelling tech for calls, but its single microphone was not able to keep that promise. Obviously, the call quality is not downright miserable, but there were instances when people complained about my vocals not being very clear. The Oppo Enco M31 is IPX5 rated, which means that it does not have dust protection. 
Battery wise you get a big 88 milliamp hour cell and I got around 10.5 hours with 70 to 80 percent volume in AAC or SBC codec setting which is fantastic. So yeah, the W11 and the W31 are trendier and more fashionable, but if you want better audio, I think you should get this one instead. So that was all for this video. Which TWS earphones are you using right now? Do let us know in the comments below. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I'll see you in the next one.